everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. In several of my videos, I have mentioned my favorite recipe for a floor wash. It's a cinnamon citrus floor wash. So today I'm going to give you instructions for making that recipe on your own. And what I advise is that when you get up in the morning, or maybe around lunchtime, whichever you prefer, you put a three-quart saucepan on the stove, fill it up with three quarts of purified or filtered water, maybe spring water, something of that nature, and then toss three or four whole sticks of good quality cinnamon in that water. Then I also add the, um, the dried fruit peelings of lemons and oranges, and I would use three to four of those citrus fruit peelings. Um, I'm just using the peeling and I'm using it dried. So when I use my citrus fruits, I save those outer layers and I let them dry. You can also dry them in the oven on a low temperature on, by laying them flat on a baking sheet. 250 or 200 degrees would be good and about 20 minutes should do it. So add those three or four sticks of good quality cinnamon and then um, the dried peelings of three to four pieces of citrus fruit. I don't recommend lime for this recipe. I recommend lemon and oranges specifically, and any kinds of lemon or oranges would do. So put that on um, medium-high heat. Let it come up to a boil. It should boil pretty quickly. You can have that going while you're making breakfast, while you're making your coffee. Um, you can, you know, this doesn't have to take a lot of time. You can multitask here. And then as soon as it comes up to a boil, put it down to a simmer on low heat and you can leave it there. You can leave it there for several hours because this becomes a multi-layered effect. Then those vapors from the cinnamon and citrus are um, going out into your environment. They're creating a great smell in your home and they're helping you usher in those energies that you want to usher in. So what this is specifically good for is cleansing, cleansing negative vibrations or stagnant energy from your home, and ushering in good luck and higher vibrations. If you want to get more specific with it, cinnamon is really good for love and it's also really good for prosperity. So I like to make this a all-purpose wash for getting rid of stagnant energy and bringing in um, prosperity and good luck. And after you have let this simmer for a while on your stove, you might notice that the water starts to reduce and this starts to become a very concentrated fluid. So you'll want to add water as many times as you want. Um, I, I would say not more than two or three times because you don't want to reduce the potency of this too much. Um, but you know, you do want to keep it on the stove for a few hours in order to get maximum benefits, in order for this to be a, a multi-layered um, ritual or practice. So add your water two or three times throughout the day, throughout you know the two or three hours that you have that on the stove. And then when you're done, cool it down. Um, just It doesn't need to be all the way cool, but just so that you can put your hands over it, say a little prayer. Um, talk to it a little bit, tell it what your intentions are, put some energy into it. And then the last thing is just to add it to your mop water. If you're really in a time crunch, then you can add it to whatever cleaning products you use in your mop water and make it a one-step process of um, washing your floor, like cleaning your floor and doing the floor wash at the same time. But traditionally, what we would recommend is that you your floor is already clean. So you've cleaned your floor um, with a soap or with a wash for getting rid of old vibrations or for simply cleaning your floor the way that you would normally mop. And then once your floor is clean, you use this kind of a thing as a, a rinse or a wash. It's your last step. So it's two steps, getting rid of the old stuff, getting rid of the vibrations that you don't want or the energies or things that you don't want. And then the second step is bringing in the good luck, bringing in the new stuff, you know, getting that good luck, that, that prosperity, whatever it is your goals are. 
but if you're in a time crunch, I find that it is okay to combine the steps, um, especially because this this wash that I'm recommending to you and that I'm offering to you is for both getting rid of old vibrations and bringing in new ones. So I sometimes add it to my soapy water and I also add other ingredients. You can add, um, you can add Florida water and sea salt. Those are two things that I commonly add. So you're making a, a pretty um, potent little concoction there. Um, I recommend adding your cinnamon citrus wash to your mop water, whatever kind of normal soap that you would use for washing your floor, and then also some Florida water and a little bit of sea salt. And you've got yourself a home-brewed um, potent which is concoction for cleaning out old vibrations and bringing yourself some good luck. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to like the video and share the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.